Lord Bernhard. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is Lord Bernhard in the building. Bang, bang. Brothers and sisters, kindred and foes, it is time. We have the hand of the PlayStation 5 right here. It has arrived. We are missing the body, but we have the hand. So we're going to go ahead and unbox the first peripheral that has arrived for the PlayStation 5. Let's go! I'm getting out of the camera now because this is the star of the show. I cannot wait. It is the final countdown. We are almost there, ladies and gentlemen. If I can get it out the box. Damn, man. Am I this week? How about I go to the gym? Classic style. Get rid of it. Here we go. Let's open this bad boy up. Come on, you could have used... Come on, please. Come on. Come on, come on. Really, we couldn't make this more elegant than this for what, $70? Come on. But all right, we're gonna go ahead. Barely any protection, a little, a little light, flimsy, non-spongy material. The control is flapping around in there. That's a fail right there, PlayStation. That is a fail. No, no charging cable. We, we don't, oh, what? Uh, so we don't get a charging cable with this. Really? Okay. Okay, that, that's, that's no cable. That's pretty, that's weak. That right there is weak, but really weak. That's another fail, Sony. The bad packaging and the lack of a, a cord. There's got to be a cord in here. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. What the... No cord, really. This is absolutely beautiful. I'm talking about this right here. Look, right here. Me, not this, me. I tell you, me, I'm talking about me, man. <laughs> no, but seriously though, this is a very good looking controller. It looks like X's and O's. PlayStation logo on the handles, really small. I have good vision, I just got new glasses so I can see that type of stuff. But um, let's go ahead and get a close-up of this controller for you guys. Okay, so here's a close-up of the PlayStation 5 controller that I just unboxed. Let me give it a low-budget YouTube spin. I don't have the fancy machines like Mr. Marquise. But we'll make it work. Stand it up here. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is a very elegant controller. Very elegant. We have the uh, plastic clear buttons on the pad, that I, on the thumb pad that I like. I really like that. It's classy. The buttons also are clear. We got the triangle, circle, the square, the X. Beautiful. The thumbsticks are nice. Good grip. PlayStation logo right here. We have a little the, the activate. What's that? The mic input, and that's the mute button right here. The little button right there. Beautiful. Touchpad. USB to uh, charge it, which I, I'm, I'm assuming and I'm hoping that the console comes with a cord because I don't understand why you would sell a product without a cord. I, they're assuming that I guess everybody has this cord, I guess, so they'll save money by not including a USB cord, but uh, I get it, but still, if you have a product, you should you know, provide the uh, wire to charge it. That would only make sense. Okay, moving on. Got the nice trigger buttons. They're nice concaved here. You hit your finger just sits right on into it. That feels good. That's a short throw too. A very short throw. It feels like you would hit like uh, the Elite controller on the Xbox where you will, or any Elite controller, where you can adjust the uh, pull distance. This is a very short pull distance. This is this is nice. This is nice. Controller feels really good. I I like it. I definitely like it. Come on guys, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. What more can I say? Good job Sony on the design of this controller. It's beautiful. 
but you get a fail for bad packaging and you get a fail for not supplying a charging cable with this beautiful piece of alien technology. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Bang!